Ladies and gentlemen, it is my very great honour to announce that the Case IH Award winner for 2017 is Ray Harrington. Not very often, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I guess when I settle down and think about it, firstly, I would like to thank Sinjen. I'd like to thank Case for the award. Um, yeah, Case Man as well, that helps. Um, I'd like to thank Case for the award, but I'd like to thank Sinjen for giving farmers the opportunity to showcase what we are. I think we are the forgotten, we are the forgotten people in the world, and I get a nod. Um, I'm agreeing with you, Eric. If we disappear, the world starves. And, and I don't think we get enough credibility for what we do. And, and I, I know I feed six million people. Six million people I feed, plus, plus my wife and family. Um, <laughs> The, the good thing for me to win this award, I'm leaving my farm to my nephew. He will be sustainable. That's the key. I'm, I feel very emotional. Um, particularly because one of the cornerstones of my work over the last 10 years of taking this method of trying to deal with herbicide resistance. And I recognised herbicide resistance 40 years ago. 40 years ago, we had two farmers in WA, um, uh, Graham Shields and, Mar and um, Rob Hyde, who had hoe grass resistance at Wongan Hills. 40 years ago, and I salute those two gentlemen. But then 22 years ago, I decided that I could see what was going to happen in the long term. I'm, I believe in looking out 30 years, even though I'm over 70. My dad died the other day over 99, so I'm going to go close to that. Um, <laughs> I like to look out. 22 years ago, I had a vision on my farm, um, having farmed for 50... I'm doing my 55th harvest. I had a vision of if I need to be sustainable, I need to stop these weeds. And I saw the ear of the plough, and I used to pull three ploughs with one tractor. I saw that fail. The oldest herbicide, Eric, is a year older than I am. And they're failing. And I recognised that 22 years ago. I said, I need to do it different. So I decided I would try and break the cycle. If it doesn't set seed, it's gone. And that was my modus operandi. And uh, I thank the people I've worked with. Uh, Michael Walsh is sitting over here, a nominee. Michael Walsh will go down in the annals of history as the person that took harvest weed seed management to the globe. Mark my words, look at the name. He will go down in history as the gentleman that took harvest weed seed to the world. Do you know that we will have approximately 60% of the hectares in Australia under harvest weed seed management where there's probably not 100 hectares on the rest of the globe? I spoke at the Denver conference in Colorado in May. I was the only farmer off the planet that spoke to 400 of the top people in the world. I could not have been more proud as an Aussie here we are, Australia, leading the world by a country mile. We will remain sustainable. Thank you.